20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field, and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10! Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first! The Cubs are going to the World Series! The Cubs win the pennant! pitch and a high drive hit back into deep right field junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club a high drive into the lower deck and right number 30 touches them all and boy what a father's day gift for senior getting his 500 home run Nighttime baseball now from the district as you get a look inside beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Two potential X-factors in this series right there. The first game is coming up. Joe Ross gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Coming to the plate now, Jose Reyes. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And Reyes will become the game's first base runner as the free swinger works a walk to get us started. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses a zone by that much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready on one and two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Now Cabrera awaits the 2 2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready with another 2 2. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And this is off the fence now, out near the Washington bullpen. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. So stepping in, Yoenis Cespedes. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. The 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Well, this is one of those big opportunities. You look back and say, did we learn anything? Now, yesterday, runners in scoring position in big situations, I couldn't drive them in. Now you got a chance to show you learn something and drive a run in here. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? 
Matt, this is a team after my heart. They lead the league in stolen bases. Look out, they're gonna come at you running. They're gonna run to first if they walk. They're gonna steal second if it's sitting out there. They just run. I'm excited to watch them play. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. In to score the runner from third. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third. So they're at the corners now with still only one away. Second baseman, Neil Walker. Standing in now, Neil Walker swinging a ball hit on the ground. The tag from Weeders, and he is out trying to score. Sort of a daring move there going for the plate, but it didn't pay off. It was hit softly, but it gets scooped up quickly and fired home on target. Ideally, you want to go home like that on a ball that's hit beyond the pitcher's mound. Into the box now, Lucas Duda. Ball two. two right. Hit on the ground out to short. Backhanded. And now against his body, a jump throw. And from deep in the hole, he got him. What a play, and that ends the inning. Off of one leg, in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Robert Gesellman, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Harold, what do you got? Well, this is going to be an interesting game. He pitches really good at home, and he struggles on the road. And in this road game, this road atmosphere, I don't know if that's getting to him or what it is, but he just has not got good numbers on the road. So maybe look for the other team to take it to him today. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. A time now from our nation's capital to take a look at the Nats starting lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, you realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. In now is Adam Eaton. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Looked like a cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches. Not throw a single ball and, and toss a perfect game. Obviously, I'm kidding, but you can't start a game any better than this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy. Now a check swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Pretty forceful about it, too. And the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Here's Jay Bruce now. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Harold, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, it was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. 
you got to have a short-term memory. And you really do. The game's over. You can't do anything about it. you got to come back today and play better and win. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And I'm looking at the catcher, Matt Wieters. The biggest compliment I ever heard from Matt Wieters, nobody catches a throw from the outfield and tags a runner better than him. He'll take a shot, too. He also calls a pretty good game. At the plate, Travis Darnot. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. We're in the second, 1-0 Mets early on. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Lifetime against Joe Ross. Five for nine. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. From the belt, kicks and deals. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a bunt attempt here. To second for one. Back to Murphy, not in time, and they'll get just the one out. He got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. In now, Jose Reyes. He pulls this one into right, and that's in there. Base hit. Trying to pick things up where we left off as Drupal Cabrera twos all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. Eaton gets it back in quickly, and they'll wind up putting the stop sign up at third base. Well, that one's going to load the bases up. They held the runner up. They're really looking for a big inning right here, trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. And he puts it on the ground to second. Played on the backhand. And a gorgeous flip to second, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on two base hits, no errors, and three men left stranded. On now to the bottom of the second, it's the Mets one, and the Nationals nothing. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at Drubal Cabrera. Does he still make the routine play? Yes. But man, when he was young, he could make the highlight reel play with the best of them. So fun to watch. In now is Anthony Rendon. Right at $2.30 with the batting average coming into this one. So it's mostly been a struggle for him. Ready on one and two. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Just got a piece up the line, but it gets foul.
Another try at 2 2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Into the box now, Adam Lind. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Standing in, Curtis Granderson. He'll match up now with Joe Ross to lead off the inning. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Back up the middle. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting. Second baseman. Neil Riding in once Walker. again, Neil Walker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh, good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two frozen with a high fastball there we'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch outside and low that time now it's two balls and two strikes a two and two count here's the pitch hard hit ball to second Murphy's got it throw on to first two gone now batting the first baseman. Here's Lucas Duda okay. now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, nobody on. One and two now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they lead it one to nothing. Here's Jason Worth, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Standing in now, Matt Wieters. Hit down the line at first. Duda's got it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Into the box now, Joe Ross. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. And another foul ball. Another one two delivery now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over Nationals gone in order it remains one nothing digging in to try it again Jay Bruce he's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes on one and one. Off speed pitch and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Two balls and a strike here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch. 
And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. This is line to left. In to cut it off is worth. It's a base hit. Well, that right there is perfect for taking the ball inside and Not shooting it the other way. You hear that terminology, Grab hands inside the ball. Enough. The only way you're going to do that is you pull your hands in hard and stay inside the baseball. Nice piece of hitting. Digging in for his second at bat, Travis Darno. He drew a base on balls his first time up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, now seems buddy. like an appropriate well, time to check out our pitch Robert, speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see both guys bringing it pretty good in this one. 95 on one hand, 92 on the other. Here's the one and one pitch. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. And he pulls this one back in time, two and two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Now a bunt attempt here. And they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Up next for the Mets. Digging in and looking for more. Jose, Jose Reyes. Reyes. He singled his last time up. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Big lead there at second. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And Rendon will look this one in to retire the side. Mets leave one, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And starting out the inning, it'll be the exciting speedster Trey Turner. Now here's the pitch over towards the dugout but this one will get into the stand looking to punch him out again the pitch and this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away boy this guy has really good stuff so far on this one how about seven K's and we're just in the middle innings of this one if he continues this up this could be a real solid performance. In now is Adam Eaton. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy. Two and two. If you're able to locate your fastball like that, you're going to have a good game. I'm not surprised to look up and say he's having a good game right now because he's been spotting that fastball pretty good in most of the game. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. They're down one nothing. Digging in once again as Dribble Cabrera. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left hander and a right hander throwing. That nibbled the corner there but missed two and one.
and it misses three and one now. Well, he falls behind three one right now, but man, he's really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Little dribbler up the first baseline. To his left, Lind, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. The left fielder, here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. That's when you're looking for a ball inside. That ball's all the way in. He still Not pulls his hands through and gets a base hit to the outfield. Curtis Granderson. In now, Curtis Granderson. And there he goes towards second. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Harper in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. On to first, and they get the double play. One hits all they get. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. Here's Bryce Harper now. They'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. And he'll step on first for the oh, out, three unassisted. Six. So Anthony another exceptional Brandon effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. In now is Anthony Rendon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. For Walker now at second. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batting. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Here's Adam Lind. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Here's the 2 2 home to Lind. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They still trail 1 nothing. Here's Neil Walker. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now here's the pitch. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. This is a perfect First example of why the 21. slider is such a great pitch Lucas. and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Sammy Solis comes into work out of the bullpen now. And Dan, are you surprised that the starter's day is done? I am a little, Matt, but this is one of those moves that people will debate forever. I think he could have pitched a little bit longer, but I understand the idea of bringing a lefty in to face this upcoming left-hander as well. So we'll see how this works out. Into the box now. 
Lucas Duda. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. The two and one on its way. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. Another 2 2 offering. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. There to play it is Lind, and there's one away. Here's Jay Bruce now. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box, Travis Darno. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. The two one pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Turner is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Mets strand one, but they're on top one to nothing. Here's Jason Worth comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes. Line to the right side. And there's the first hit of the game for the Nats. Matt, I don't know about you, but man, I love offense. And, and sixth inning to get the first hit. Let's go, boys. It's getting a little boring. About time. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. And there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. Ryan Zimmerman will be summoned off the bench here as a pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Swung on and missed outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Ready to deliver the one and two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Again, a one two. Hit hard back up the middle, and that gets through for a one out base hit. Well, he hit that ball hard right there. I think he got a little bit lucky. If it's at somebody, probably a double play ball instead of a single. Turner. Standing in now, Trey Turner. 
And there's one well above the zone for a ball. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him in this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Bruce has a read on it. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The center fielder, number two. Ready once again, Adam Eaton. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Two men are on with two men out. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Chopped foul over towards the coaching box. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Yanked on the ground down the line. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one-two count. He finally took the ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. This is a really good at bat. This is the kind that you go back to the dugout, regardless of the outcome, they go, great A.B., man, great A.B. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Well, he loses them there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Here's Daniel Murphy now. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Bases juiced now with two away. Well, now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound and we're going to see a pitching change is that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Your so as he departs play. he'll leave this mess now with the bullpen as three runners are his responsibility. Jerry, Jerry Blevins answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. Here's the 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes going back. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Three left for Washington. They trail this one one to nothing. Back here at Nationals Park getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Oliver Perez place. is on to now pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 46. Oliver Perez. Now at the plate Jerry Blevins he's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Slider up that he gets a call on. Let's go, Dax. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Outside, to two ball. balls and two strikes now. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Third baseman number seven. Jose Digging Reyes. in once again, Jose Reyes. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Two and one now to Reyes. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Digging in to try it again as Dribble Cabrera in his career versus this pitcher, a three for seven line. Here's the one and one pitch. 
And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Grounded back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the two out hit means that Joanna Cespedes will bat this inning. Well, Matt, he's really been struggling recently, but this is the third hit of the game right here. Maybe we're seeing signs that he's really going to start to come out of it and maybe stay out of it. In now, Joanna Cespedes. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And a step off. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The Mets lead it one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Bryce Harper. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Three and one, here it is. And that pitch catches the inside corner. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here comes the payoff pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Randerson is under it. One out. The third baseman, number six. Striding Anthony in once again, Rendon. Anthony Rendon. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready with the 1 and 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this is called a foul ball. Maybe by a matter of inches that time. And now we're going to get a stoppage here as the four umpires will gather together near third base to discuss whether or not that was really a foul ball. And remember now, if there's any uncertainty, the umpires can go inside to get a look at the video feed from headquarters in New York. And I believe that's exactly what they're going to do. We'll give you a look at this from our own cameras and let you make the call for yourself. Okay, the umpires have emerged from the dugout with the ruling. And it is going to remain a foul ball. So they had it right the first time. But if there's any doubt, go inside and get this thing right. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that misses two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Now batting. Here's Adam Lind. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Started that swing a bit too early. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. Again, he sends it out of play. Here he comes again, 1 2. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. The pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Bases are empty here with two men out. High in the air out to center field. Branderson is under it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Blake Trinan has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll Washington. do so to start the eight. Number 45. Blake Stepping in, Joanna Cespedes. He's working on a one for three thus far. And a half 
swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Misses, ball two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw Center more walks than other three. guys is exactly Third what we saw right, right there. Two. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And a hard sinker there. Chopped foul at home plate. Granderson waits on the one two and this is fouled back and out of play nobody out runner on first and this one's in the dirt and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two two and two count here it comes. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. There's certain situations where things just have to happen, and this is one of those. Like it or not, he's got to challenge him right here. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Murphy is there for it. Makes the play one away. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Here's Neil Walker. He comes into this at bat 0 for 2 with the hit by pitch. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. Well, that's basically pitching unlucky right there. He's got the sinker in his first arsenal. He 21. throws the sinker. He gets the Lucas, ground ball. And that. next thing you know, it finds a hole. And that's a tough break. Here's Lucas Duda now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Sharp slider that time. Just missed inside. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Three and two. That was an interesting pitch, Matt. Look, we're in a double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker. Get that ground ball, maybe get a double play. But he didn't throw it. He just threw a fastball. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he got it in there for a strike. Now a look and a throw back to second. Runner back standing. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Hey, these guys on defense are still within striking distance. But after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Bases are loaded here. One man out. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? One there. On to Lind. It's a double play, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Addison Reed is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Addison Reed. Ready for another shot now. Jason Worth. He's one for two in the ball game. Oh, 
Hits this one hard the other way. Gloved by Walker. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now batting. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. one nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. One out, nobody on. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. And now with the possible tying run at second here, we're going to have a pinched runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Tried to stay back on the changeup there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Two strike changeup, but he was able to foul it off just enough to fight it off to get another pitch. That's a tough pitch to hit with two strikes. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. So a good job there of taking third unannounced, but meanwhile the strikeout means two men are gone now. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Line drive to left. And he'll make the count. Oh, check that. He didn't look it into his glove, and the ball drops in. And the run will come in to score from third as that'll knock things up at one apiece. I love the late inning at bats when you come up clutch right there. Big hit to tie this game. Center fielder, Adam Eaton. In now is Adam Eaton. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And now here comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Josh Edgen will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Michael Conforto is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Michael Conforto. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Beautiful changeup. Got him out front with that swing right there. That's what a changeup will do. Just keep you off balance. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Oh, he spoiled one right there. That's a pitcher's pitch. Two strikes. He wanted to get him to chase one, and he did, but he fouled it off. Nice job. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full, all tied at one and one. Back now with baseball on the show from the nation's capital. Just down the street from that building, we are set for what remains in this one. Joe Nathan will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. 
Derek Norris is into the ball game here as he takes no over catching. behind the plate. Number 23, Derek Norris. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Driven nicely into the gap. On his way to second is Darno. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a Michael fastball in on him? Montorto. No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Be called here as now with the important go ahead run at second four, base, they'll opt to go and one, get a little more speed out right. there. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto, and he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. A throw behind the runner at second. Runner's back. And he'll turn and throw back to second again, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Ready with another two strike offering. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Digging in and looking for more as Drubal Cabrera. Lifetime in this matchup. He's gone two for eight. The one and one pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Oh, that was a big pitch right there. That was a swing count for me. Now the pressure's really mounting. You got the bases loaded in a tight game right here. He's got to deliver. He's got to throw strikes. As a hitter, you know he's got to come to you. All the pressure's on the pitcher right now. Oh, that looks like a pretty good pitch to hit. It's a little bit late, so he might have been just fooled just a tad bit, just enough not to square it up. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with another two-strike offering. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Trevor Gott is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Now pitching for the Nationals, number 26, Trevor Gott. Joanna Cespedes will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. Tight spot, bases loaded, nobody out. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. Gone! It's a grand slam! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game.
and it's almost unfair. He inherited this mess from the previous pitcher, but he definitely didn't help the situation. They hoped he could save the day and put out the fire, but instead he threw some gasoline on it. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the box, Curtis Granderson bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. Now batting, second baseman. Neil Ready for another Walker. chance? Neil Walker. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And a changeup right down the middle. Bases are empty, one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And this will be fouled away. Once again, a 3-2. Grounded to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. First baseman, number 21. Digging Lucas. in, Lucas Duda. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. Boy, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So they put up a big number in the inning as five crossed the plate. And this was the biggie here, the grand slam home run. Last chance coming up here for the Nationals. It's the Mets six and the Nats Your one. One Ligaris will stay in the ball the game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Number 12. Here's Daniel Murphy one. now. It was Ligaris. a flyout for him in his last trip. Rene Rivera the is the into the ball game here as now he takes catching. over behind the plate. Rene Rivera. 1-1 one, one on its way to Murphy. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to 1-2 and two now. Here's the 1-2. and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun right to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Taken by Walker. On to first. And now the Nationals are down to their final out here. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Two out, nobody on. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2 and 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. Josh Edgen claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs, ten hits, no errors. Line drive left.
Field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers have been